Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse, and you're watching... Well, did we name it yet? Oh, darn it. I, we got a lot of good ideas, we but do. we haven't really nailed the name yet. All right, so again Look. in the comments, we're trying to come up with a good name for this uh, disruptive investing news segment, where we're going to be talking a bit about um, some investing news that isn't really uh, Tesla time newsworthy, if you know our show over on the Now You Know channel, uh, but welcome here to DI. We're going we're gonna to get into it right now. Yeah, let's talk about SpaceX. So SpaceX is a privately held company, meaning that it is not traded on a public exchange. Stockholders in SpaceX became stockholders by buying shares during private funding rounds. According to Bloomberg, SpaceX is currently holding another funding round, which values SpaceX at $140 billion. And how do you get that value, you ask? Well, SpaceX's board of directors decides what share price to offer new shares that they're selling. In this case, they decided on $77 a share. So if you multiply that times the number of shares, which is $1.8 billion, you get $140 billion valuation. Now, Elon has floated the idea back in June of 2021 that Starlink might get spun off as an IPO. And that would be very interesting as an investment to me, but there is still no definitive word on when that may be happening. Now, let's talk about SpaceX's valuation of $140 billion. Um, that puts it at what, like a quarter, an eighth of Tesla's value. Uh, Tesla's now down because of the stock price being down. So it's at $467 billion market cap. So, so it's, it's at a third of uh, Tesla's value. So it's a pretty big big company that, again, nobody really talks about until we get these sort of things like this. But it's not the kind of thing where you can just look up every day like, what's right. the current value of SpaceX? Oh, we don't know because it's a private company. So with this high evaluation, and again, that's set by the board of directors, uh, does this mean that the SpaceX IPO is imminent? I don't know, because I think that Elon likes having control of SpaceX. Once you go public, you don't have control anymore. Your shareholders do. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised, as I've said before, if he doesn't go public with Starlink, which would be a division of SpaceX. But I don't know if he's going to want to give up control of SpaceX until he can get to Mars. So you're thinking that he would go public with Starlink. Right. And, and I mean, Starlink is a big moneymaker. Right. And it's something that we've heard in the past that he's going to go public with. I think it's been pushed off a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe next year we see the IPO of that. And basically, Starlink is some proportion of this $140 billion. Right. right. OK. And so it would be, you know, coming out, let's say that it's, uh, you know, half of the half of the value of SpaceX is Starlink, Maybe. then it would be $70 billion valuation. Yeah. I mean, when Starlink first came out, a lot of people were like, well, there's other competitors, blah, blah, blah. Now I think we can see that uh, <laughs> it's the market leader. I mean, by far, some other competitors have a couple satellites up. Uh, Starlink has, you know, well over 3000 satellites. It's growing. Militaries are interested in it. Like it's just it's gangbusters. So I think this is a moneymaker. Um, and maybe that would be why he wouldn't want to release it because it's just a kind of a money maker for SpaceX. But because it's military and stuff, I think they kind of want to see this as a publicly traded company. Uh, they don't, you know, the military doesn't generally want one guy to control <laughs> every satellite. Um, so I'm just, we're telling you this because maybe you want to keep this on your horizon and maybe start setting aside some money if you think this is a good investment. Again, we're not financial advisors, do your own research. But if you think that like, hmm, a Starlink IPO, I'd be interested in that. Well, then you want to be ready for it. And I'd like to move on to our second story here, which is on Zeker. Um, and we called it, didn't we? Huh? I'm talking about another story this week that shows that China is serious about EVs. So Zeker is the premium all-electric brand that was launched under China's Geely Holding Group back in 2021. They have filed for an IPO last week to help fund their $1 billion expansion plans. So Reuters reported that Zeker would have a valuation of more than $10 billion when it goes public. During its last private funding round, Zeker had a valuation of $9 billion. So the U.S. IPO could come as soon as the second quarter of 2023. And Zeker is currently making the Zeker 001 and has started building out a charging network in China. So would this IPO be funding factories and expansion into the U.S. and Europe? That would be my guess. According to Reuters, Zeker was looking into a Hong Kong IPO, but I guess that they think they can raise more money by going public on the American exchange. And I think, you know, you need a lot of money. You need at least a billion dollars if you're going to start building out factories. Now, <laughs> I'm not sure if this IPO will come at a good time 
for raising capital. Because, I mean, at the moment, there isn't much stomach for high-risk launches. But here's the thing. Going back to what we've been talking about a lot lately, the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, that has put a big incentive on opening stuff here in the U.S. And I think that China goes, oh, wait, you're handing out free money? Uh, if we build something over there, let's start a division over there. So by op- you know by doing an IPO in, in America and being an American company, um, they could take advantage of this, open factories here, get the $7,500 tax credit. And I want to go back to talking about that again. Um, If you can get $7,500 off a car. So if I have a dealership, you have a dealership, right? Two different dealerships. And I'm like, get $7,500 off if you come on down to Zach's dealership. And you're like, we've got lollipops, 0% Um, APR financing, just like everyone else. You're Who are you going to stop at first? Yeah, mine. Um, And so if you can just get that price right off the top and coming in 2024, it will come off the top probably right at the dealership. So it'll be even more sexy. It won't have to like file paperwork for it as much. Um, I think that everyone in the car industry knows this and they're going, wow, we got to we got to take advantage of this. And they've got 10 years. Right. It doesn't run out. This IRA tax incentive doesn't run out for 10 years. But you got to get moving on it because if you're going to be competitive. So I think what IRA just did was create the Zeker IPO. Like all of these things that are happening are like, why are they happening now? Mm -hmm. It's because the IRA. Interesting. Anyway, please comment down below what you think and let us know what kind of stories you want us to cover on this new show that we're doing on DI. And don't forget to subscribe and like so that we can keep bringing you this kind of thing. And we're hopefully going to be bringing you more like all the interviews that we do on DI. That's all for you so that you can be more informed as a disruptive investor.